A bridge project is costing much more than the city of Norfolk expected. The city is asking VDOT for an additional $3.3 million to rehab the Granby Street Bridge. That's on top of the $3.5 million the city asked for in the last budget. Tenor your side's Kara Dixon is looking into where the money is going. Kara. Yeah, Anita, according to a memo addressed to city council, the Public Works Department says it needs the extra money just because of the bridge's condition. Now it's continuing deterioration and needed repairs bumped up the original cost from three and a half million to more than six point eight million. But that's a cost one nearby business owner says is worth it. 4215 Granby Street here in Norfolk, Virginia. And that's where Al Lewis's business has been for the last 18 years. Great, great. It's a good location. You got traffic coming to and fro, which is great for, uh, cuts out a lot of advertising it's because everybody sees you here. That traffic keeps the Granby Street Bridge busy, and if the city has anything to do with it, they'll keep it that way. In 2016, City Council approved an urban allocation project to fix it up. It needed it. The, the bridge definitely needed it. The bridge is kind of old, and it had a few potholes, uh, small potholes there. So the city knows what they're doing. Then the cost, $3.5 million. Now Public Works is asking for $3 million more from VDOT. They say it's because it's deteriorating. Built in 1979 with six lanes of traffic and sidewalks, Lewis believes it's worth the money. Just imagine $6 million or the bridge falling and uh, the cars drop down with the people in it. So you just take that into your own consideration, which would be the best. Fix the bridge. The city hasn't said when they'll start repairs, but Lewis believes it could cause some traffic backups for a time. They understand that there's potholes around and it needs to be taken care of and the bridge needs to be worked on. So um, it's, uh, it's definitely needed. Definitely needed upgraded infrastructure this small business hopes will bring in others to the area. And City Council is expected to vote on that tomorrow. We will update you when they do. I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.